Kavik 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 Fellowship good afternoon away from Ganges for Healy Point Sturdy's Bay The engines drone loudly as the vessel is steered out of Ganges Harbor but the boat noise is drowned out by the busyness on board. I was at Art Spring all day. Oh, really? What were you doing? Oh, uh, rehearsing for the play. Conversations overlap, school notes are pulled out, and electronics are keeping these young minds occupied on their 45-minute commute home from school. When I was living on the mainland, I used to ride my bike to school a lot, and now I can't really because I take a boat to school. These are Salt Spring Island's junior and high school students who live on Galliano and Maine Island. And this is how they get to school, traveling nearly two hours a day on the scholarship. Well, the school run for the scholarship consists of leaving here at uh, quarter to seven in the morning, and we go to uh, Galliano Island, and we pick the, the Galliano kids up there, and then we go back to uh, Miners Bay on Maine Island, pick up the kids there, and they head off to school. The shuttle system is run by Gulf Islands Water Taxi, and Dave Arnett's been driving this boat for a decade, which means he knows these students pretty well. It's quite comical sometimes to watch, uh, especially the young ladies. They'll, uh, they'll be sitting on the boat with their knees up, with a mirror between their knees, uh, putting on their eye makeup while I'm going through six-foot waves and active fat. Today, many of the teens are spending their time signing yearbooks, flipping through cards, and catching up on reading. It's a good time to do homework, catch up on schoolwork, on um, reading and sleeping. A lot of us sleep yeah, on the water taxi. <laughs> Even though they're trekking through Active Pass, one of the busiest and most scenic waterways on the coast, to these students, this is just a regular trip. I have to tell them that there's whales, for instance. They don't necessarily spot them on their own. No orcas today, but we did see a group of sea lions, not quite as exciting as some of the sea life these teens have seen. We saw um, a deer swimming in the water, which was really weird. It was like swimming to Galliano or something from Maine. I think one time we saw a gray whale that was going right into Active Pass, that was heading towards Active Pass. And it breached and it was jumped out of the water and it was really cool. After 50 minutes on the water, the scholarship pulls up to Galliano Island, dropping off half of the students. I do have five minutes where the Galliano kids and people get off, and I just stretch out and sleep. Five minutes and just a stone's throw away, we arrive at Main Island, where the rest of the boat clears out. Just another day out at sea for these Gulf Island teens. Usually what happens is after they graduate, and they'll come back, you know, two or three years later, and uh, they'll say, geez, I ever miss going on the boat. Gulf Islands Water Taxi has another boat called the Graduate that transports the students who live on Pender and Saturna Island. And when the kids go on summer holidays, the boats are still working, shuttling tourists and locals from island to island. From somewhere in Active Pass, I'm Jen Moranitz.